Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Rule Waves 2 as Austria Hungary, episode number 40. I had to restart this one like five times because, dang you, Blizzard, I hate you. Mess with my damn microphone. I really, really dislike any game which modifies your microphone volume. It's just, come on, we're in the 2020s. What are you guys doing? Can you imagine how annoying it would be if a game modified your, your like, Windows sound? <laughs> no, they all controlled independently. This is proper software engineering is modularize your... T don't take over the main... Alright, so anyways, Austria-Hungary is going great. We've done really well for ourselves. Uh, last war... Uh, yeah, I mean, we were up against pretty tough odds, but um, we probably could have wriggled out a little bit of a better situ um, result. Or even played a little bit better. I'm trying to think like, okay, so the result is somewhat out of your hands. And mostly out of your hands. It seems like RNG just comes in and kicks in. And, you know, 20 point victory. Um, a complete white piece. You never know. Uh, but the results, I mean, I mean, what did we do to get there? We probably need more carriers though. Yeah, so it's, it's late enough now that carriers are the way to go and that's the problem I'm facing right now. We have a new design, but no money to build it. Um, I would love to get another Radetzky. There was a nice clever, I'm gonna mention this because it was in the comment section, but not everyone looks there and people who look there may not have arrived or may have already arrived um, before this comment arrived, arrived there too. So just in case you missed it, you can actually open this design and get the 10% change to just decrease the cost. I mean, what was it? This design's probably 10,000. And uh, we would have gotten a, a much cheaper version of it, a refit, I mean, I mean like a modified Rodetsky. And you can actually scrap this after you open the design and it still counts. Anyway, uh, that's great, but we didn't do that. So thanks for pointing that out. It's just a, there's a very few th things I, I feel like I don't know about this game and that uh, that is definitely one of them I did not I never even crossed my mind okay so the indicas we know what we want to do with them but what was the issue what was the issue dual purpose secondaries what was the issue what is preventing me from making these like updating them we know we want the better 10 inch guns and by the way this is actually the perfect way of just of determining i mean this is exactly a quality upgrade so we can really see how much the build cost for doing it would go up okay so the rebuild cost is 3450 versus i think it was like 1700 anyway right 1500 so I wonder what this this is probably just the maintenance fee three two mothballed is times four or times five gosh you would think I would know yeah it's times five so we mothball and then this should go up by like it should be like 303 or something like that yeah okay good so 306 so when they're when they're being refit you still have to pay for them to a degree their their monthly maintenance so anything you do on top of that is you know you still pay the underlying maintenance um 1500 to refit these guns there's three turrets i mean 10 guns i mean sorry uh, eight guns of quality 10 guns so i think that um yeah Okay, so it would have been expensive for the other guns, the 17-inch guns. Um, yeah, I think I'm just kind of stalling here. I don't know what I'm doing. Poor Gibraltar has just been begging for troops. Please give us more aircraft. Now's probably the time to do it, but what are we up to? Fighter request here? Okay. That's the oldest one for sure. We have a dive bomber, which has no heavy bomb load to speak of. We have a float plane scout, which has no range to speak of. I mean, actually, float plane scouts, they generally don't end up being that long range, but this is probably on the lower side 
for what floatplane scouts should be doing. Um, flying boats. This one has nice range, pretty good speed. I mean, it's crazy to think that our flying boat is our second fastest cruise speed. Maybe, maybe that's not so crazy. The max speed is fairly almost the worst. <laughs> Actually, I'm surprised it's not the worst. This means this medium bomber must have a low max speed. It also has a low cruise speed. Um, everyone's up to reliability of at least average, which is good to see. So we're pushing along on that front. Um, we have one in reserve. Okay, yes, we do have 16 in reserve, which can be swapped over to, well, whatever we want. I don't think dive bombers are, are yet it. The number of aircraft and carrier capable air units exceeds our capacity to train pilots experience. What the f What does that mean? Number of aircraft. Okay, so first rework the design, see if we had on kit two. So this is fine, and it's ready to go. Uh, I didn't see any comments about people complaining about it. It appears to be okay. I just love, I mean, these are so darn cheap though. Gosh. So we'll get one. We'll get we need two. We need two. Give me at least one for now. Let's see how much. They're so cheap. They're so cheap. We're getting three. <laughs> Wait a second. Didn't the Phoenix already exist, or was that without an E? PH, PH, PH. Am I crazy? PH already existed. I wish there was a, a ship find. Maybe it was a destroyer. I mean, if it's a destroyer, I'm not going to... I didn't even look at the destroyer names. I thought there was already, but maybe it was one that came up in one of my build design, like, practice things, and then I didn't, I didn't choose it. All right, so we have our three carriers. That's... I mean, hey, that's, uh, that's <laughs> better than the one we have right now. We would still like to get another Rodetsky. That doesn't look very likely to happen. Well, I mean, at a minimum, if we have these four ships added to the existing set of ships we have, I think we have a pretty well-rounded navy. With the only caveat being we have some darn stinking old light cruisers. And they are getting pretty thin in numbers, too. I mean, we have more equal, no, maybe a slightly more light cruisers, but 10 here, maybe 9. Yeah, <laughs> we have nine heavy cruisers and ten light cruisers, so we're you know we don't want to get too top heavy. Although I kind of get the feeling this game does favor a top heavy approach, or at least it feels like the AI plays that way. I mean, let's just take Great Britain for example. I mean, <laughs> this number just jumps off the page of me, right? Eighteen. We see this. I'm like, what? Oh yeah. By the way, they have as many battleships as they have light cruisers. In what world is that? That's just bizarre. I don't feel like I'm saying something crazy, but I'm not a an encyclopedia on naval ships and, and the different nations. But I mean, during World War II, I just I don't think that Britain had the same number, the same ratio of battleships and light cruisers. The U.S. same thing: twenty here, twenty-four here. I mean, I'm not even counting the battle cruisers. You lump them all together, I guess. And basically, it just gives you almost I'm. The, the number is slightly favored towards the light cruisers, but when you add the battle cruisers in, you get almost identical numbers. 22 to 24, 20 to 22. I mean, this is kind of ridiculous. They're so top heavy. Um, they have seven carriers. Oh my gosh, Great Britain's going big. But at the same time, these are the light carriers. I'm like, why are these averaging 10,000? That doesn't make... Okay, well, that, that explains a lot. Carriers that are 140,000. That is concerning. Okay, 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 okay. So we're looking at just shy of 30,000 per carrier, around 28,000. That's pretty good. So the British are going to come with, they're going to pack the heat. Um, yeah, Americans are a little bit behind on carriers in this one, and that's not I don't know, my usual experience. I want to say is the Americans have the 
the best and the greatest number of carriers? No, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, we still have this question about what to do with the Furkton. She's sitting in here and gobbling up our 222 maintenance per turn. If we decided to sacrifice her, it doesn't really put a dent. I mean, it would take such a long time to get... Ah, oh, man. So we need to start fighting a war for ourselves in about 30 months. <laughs> That's the perfect timetable when we get this huge surge of power. Uh, it's not the way it works, and that's kind of cool it's not the way it works, because it'd be just, it's like hearts of iron when you do it that way. I mean, the Krynal, the, the Shirkton must have been a refit. I, I mean, I know she was, but I was like, what the heck, she's 29,500? Okay, I want to know one thing. What is her, wow, torpedo defense. And she does have to stay in the Mediterranean where honestly she's going to be needed less and less. I think we are going to scrap her. Okay, let's do it. I'm just going to do it. I mean, 50 aircraft. What's her speed? 24? Yeah, I mean, there's just... I don't really care about the speed, by the way, but it just gives me a measurement of how old this ship is. But I converted her and she looks horrible. Oh, yeah, she has the old 8-inch guns. I mean, the at least we need to refit her. Let's just examine what it would look like. I, I actually really like that I did the opposite side. Wait, did I? Yeah, because this is, <laughs> did I? It's not even a question. Um, let's clear these turrets. I, yeah, I guess so. And then we'll just put in the single, simple, single, port wing wing single turret yeah, it kind of looks nice um, then we'll get you to be dual purpose I think 16 is again a lot the most we can have and again we have this question about 10% 10, 10 rate of fire and even it's been pointed out and I think it's a good call we don't really know how it all works together but um, even with the 10% penalty obviously we're getting more firepower um, going above 16 let's kind of Okay, so 16 is 20. So we have a ratio of 20% more than the number of guns. Is that kind of linear? 3, 5, 7, 10, 13, 15, 18. It looks to be linear. 20, 23, 25, 28, 30. Yeah, so it looks to be linear. So I don't think that 10% is taken out. I mean, it'd be a kind of a small number anyway. I don't think it's taken out going from fifth, four, from 16 to, yeah, I mean, if the jump, if it happens here, I think it does. Yep. So that 10% is not taken out of the HAA here, but if it's like a 10% overall, then this drops down to 21, which is still better than 20. So maybe it's worth just going crazy with the dual purpose secondary guns. And you know, that's it's more guns that are gonna be firing. Um, but we don't actually need, uh, yeah, remember, we don't really need dual purpose guns on our carriers. We need like light guns, stuff like that. Oh, wow, that first tick is just so good. And I think it helps the mediums too, which makes me, I think we'll just get all four. Yeah, look at the weight remaining. I mean, we, we can do something reasonable with her. Oops. Um, we can do something reasonable with her with the number of aircraft. By reasonable, I mean we can get 58. But 58 is not bad. It's not bad. We could bulge her. Can you bulge her? Because are they allowed to be... What? I thought that fleet carriers have to be at least 24 knots. I will bulge her. I absolutely will. This is like a preposterously slow design. I'm not even sure how it classifies. Can I get rid of the, no, I can't. Okay, so this, no matter what I do here, this would be a, man, this refit is really cheap. Extremely cheap, that's way cheaper than I, ex I was expecting. Just do all this stuff, because I don't know. I don't know if it helps or not. It doesn't look like it's doing anything, because the weight remaining is not going down, and I would expect that, 
Yeah, only thing it does is increase the cost. Oh no, Dex, Deck Edge Lifts actually does help. Forget about Deck Park. Um, maybe Deck Park only kicks in after some certain air capacity above, like when you have some tonnage, for, you know, air capacity versus tonnage. Because maybe like you can check it and it doesn't actually take effect until you're over the limit of the number of aircraft you can store below or something. I don't know. I mean, we're getting up to 61 now. I don't even remember what, oh, we bulged. So we got actually more displacement as well. Man, everything about this is kind of a winning design. It's crazy. And she's still going to be going into battle with 12 inch armor. Uh, it's kind of funny. Probably to our detriment. We don't really need director firing. Oh, it's already there, so we're not going to change it. Yeah, then we go back over here. Oh, and that gave us a little bit more, so we can get up to 40 light AA guns. That's just crazy. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. Oh, let's get at least this much. Okay, so we still have 100 tons remaining. Don't really need the guns to be this big, although, yeah. Is it really going to save anything to... Yeah, it does save a lot when the turret tops go down, so can we get that other aircraft in here now? We can. Ooh. Um, It's only six months to rebuild her. We don't even really even care, though. I was going to bump up the ammunition, but honestly, we don't we really don't need to. You know what? I think we're done. All right, Fjurkton. You may have wiggled your way into uh, a real service role. 62 aircraft. I mean, it's a reasonable number. I don't like the idea of this carrier in a lot of different ways. I don't like it. Because it's going to occupy one of my carrier positions in a fleet battle. And... This is why quality matters more than quantity. You only get a, you, I mean, the most I think I've ever gotten into a bat in a battle is four carriers. Now that would mean that we haven't hit that limit. We we're, we only have four carriers once all the ones we're building right now are built. But it could be that in a different battle generated, I'm only allowed two carrier slots and this occupies one of those two slots and I'd much rather have my other ones. The Trogon, Dragon, whatever. All right, well, I'll do it though, because I think what's gonna happen in the end is I will leave this one in the Mediterranean and the other three will travel out together. Okay, we'll try it. We'll try it out. We'll keep you around, Fjurkton. Oh gosh, did I, did I, did I, did I? Please, 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 please. Did they automatically go to, for crying out, for crying out loud. Anyways, what was this complaining about? Um, carrier forces and whatnot. Oh, they, the friction is, it's its not listed, but they're still there somewhere in imagination land. <laughs> they're not listed anywhere here, but thankfully they are still here, which is very good to see. Yeah, so we only have four groups of carrier. Why, why are they complaining about this? There's not, this is a very small number of uh, carrier aircraft. Just, I don't know what's going on. Oh, stuff it, Kaiser. I mean, yes, your royal bigness. We can probably get around this, okay. Who's going to be the lucky one? Yeah, we have these Nikes on reserve fleet. We really ought to be getting these, the new ones. New kids on the block. Okay, good. That's very good timing. <laughs> uh, we will use it to embarrass Italy. Would love to fight Italy. That would be a nice, like, softball after we had a pretty tough combat. Well, a tough little situation in the three-way war. Well, I guess four-way war, but in the end, it was only a three-way war that we almost lost. Better AP. You cannot continue with high-priority research for... Oh. Well, it's under construction. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, and shipboard. Oh, that's kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> we 
Well, we don't need high research then. Better aircraft handling practices increases aircraft capacity and ready times of carriers. Oh my gosh, increases aircraft capacity. I don't know what this means, but what I fear horribly that it means is that I can take my same design that has just been started and has been going for three months. Wow. Um, well, we have no reason to get two extra aircraft, obviously, but the extra 400 tons would have been much appreciated somewhere else. I would even consider getting like flight deck armor. No, can't do it. I don't really care about hangar side armor. I guess that might be helpful if you get um, like an elevator shaft hit or something. No, that would, no. When would hangar side armor be useful? You're just being shot? I mean, no, that's the obvious question. I mean, obvious, but I don't, I mostly am interested in bombs. I think the only thing which is gonna hit our carriers, besides torpedoes, sadly, um, are bombs. I'm not expecting the need to protect these against uh, surface combat. Anyway, so, got that a little bit late. Oh man, but I don't think it's gonna matter. I, honestly, that's not too bad. That's not too big of a miss. New fighter prototypes are ready for evaluation. Okay. Holy crap, these are a lot faster. Wow. <laughs> They're four years, uh, I mean, the four-year-old aircraft, that's not even that long. No, I, no, that is a long time. All right, so we have all the ranges are better. All, I mean, every, everything is better. And remember, we chose firepower as one of our um, requirements here. Firepower and speed. I believe were the two that we chose. I really like this bottom one, except for the toughness. So it might have to go with this one. Who's the fastest speed? The bottom one is the fastest speed. No. Is this, okay, so this is the fastest max speed, which is important. They really got me here. These are, <laughs> dang it, if these aren't pretty balanced. Each of them is good for a different reason. I don't really care about range, so even like 93 range is, is good. Um, I probably want uh, the best combination of max speed, firepower, and maneuverability. I think that this bottom one is the winner then. Unfortunately, it's not very tough. However, if it happens to be faster and more maneuverable than it's and then the opponents, that won't matter. It shouldn't need to. It, I mean, it can take a hit, but five to seven is such a big drop. And I, then I want to go for this one because this has like really good qualities, but its max speed is so low, two twenty, which brings me back to this one. But now the maneuverability is low, and in my head, the way this, I'm, I'm just I'm envisioning the dogfight. If we're, uh, I imagine that even just a small a bit of maneuverability, it, I mean, it's a comparison, right? It's not like 13 is does anything by itself. It's a 13 versus an enemy fighter, which is like a 12. Or maybe the enemy fighter is a 13, in which case I can be equal, slower, I mean, less maneuverable or more maneuverable. Ah, <sighs> Yeah, you could really just sit here and obsess over these numbers for quite a long time. That's the way, they, that is the Tortuga way. You know, the range is so low on this top one. I think I will forego it. I think I'm gonna go, ah, man, it's just, gosh. These are such balanced choices, but I think I will go with, I think I'm gonna go with this one in the end. And let me try to justify my decision here. This one is less maneuverable, which I hate, because I, I really feel like speed and maneuverability is how you win the fight. Um, I may talk myself out of it, but I think max speed, it's kind of like one of those things, like do we need maneuverability if we have a really high max speed? Many people would say no. And this has good toughness, it has really good range. I don't think we'll need it. I'm gonna go with it. Ah, oh, that was good, that was really killer. 
uh, we're immediately I mean this is it's just worse in every 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 way so we'll immediately get rid of that and with the maneuver with the firepower sticking at four I think that'll jump up pretty quickly but we'll wait a little bit so we'll let this fighter develop and then we'll we'll put in a petition for another fighter probably pretty quickly um, okay so dive bombers we need the heavier bomb load that's just so I mean to me it's clear bomb we need a bomb load bomb payload and then speed range is already looking I would say good enough 170 I mean I guess it can, it can always be better flow plane scout though that's what we're going to do next because that's the oldest one and I think I feel like it's a the range on this thing is not fantastic Maneuver, oh, okay, so you know what? We're gonna have to do reliability, you know, speed and reliability. Let's do that and just see what ranges we come up with. Because, I mean, they're gonna be using the light range, the long range for all the scouting. So we'll see what happens. Oh yes, the Balkans, a political murder, how surprising. Budget, prestige, those are both good. Budget, prestige down. <laughs> Nations stupid enough to put their fingers in the Balkan fire should realize that they can get burned. Let's just say that there should be a diplomatic solution because we still get some budget. Which makes me happy. And I, I'm in the back of my head, I am kind of keeping an eye, an eye on this unrest. Uh, the less budget we take, to, in theory at least, should lower the unrest slowly. I don't know if it actually works that way. That's just my gut. And because what did we need from you? There's something I, I know that people are screaming at me, but... Oh my gosh, they have no torpedo defense. I did not realize. Maybe these Indicas are going to go. I mean, we do have nine heavy cruisers, right? I don't know if we're calling these heavy cruisers, by the way. I guess they are really... Yeah, they're heavy cruisers. They're really right in the middle between armored cruiser and heavy cruiser. But let's call them heavy cruisers. 1911. They probably are armored cruisers. I don't know. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Where art thou? Mm. Um, you know, this game make, just makes you make a lot of interesting decisions. These are kind of a liability, but they can also stick around in just the Mediterranean. They don't cost very much when they're not at war. Just 60 a turn. Are they a liability though? Kind of, because they kept getting put into battle with my Nikes. And they don't have dual purpose guns. Okay, I am gonna make an unpopular decision to scrap these. It's unpopular to me. I don't wanna scrap them. But it's going to avoid a not, that's not even an expensive refit though. What if I just decided they're like totally effed, just bull jump so they have some torpedo defense? Because I mean, these are going to be one die bomb, one, sorry, one torpedo, um, one torpedo bomber attack, and these things are toast. At least my heavy cruisers have like, oh, a chance. Just, just give them a chance. I mean, this... I am going to scrap them. I'm going to scrap them. These are tough times. We have to tighten up the belt. Ah, I don't like doing that, but there it is. French flying boats of the type Moraine, whatever, have crossed the Atlantic, led by a prominent air marshal. The press is asking you for comment. Um, I wonder how you get that. It's a cool event. I guess we don't have any reason to cross the Atlantic, so <laughs> it wouldn't be coming from the Austro-Hungarians. No, wait, yeah, we do. We own Iceland and we own Ireland <laughs> oh, in, in this strange Austro-Hungarian world where we own, you know, very bizarre territories outside of, of the Mediterranean. So we can say an impressive feat. Our missions could easily, if we bothered, that's, I kind of like this answer. 
Like that's my answer. We could have done it. Why didn't you let me do it? Or we can do this. That seems fine to me. Do we want to go to war with France? Yes. As in we could, and I believe they have territory that we could take. Let's let's take a look. Yeah, does France have territory we can take? Absolutely. And at this point, I mean, we could do war reparations, but when you get towards the end of the game, it's more about painting the map, in my opinion. Ooh, I had to sneeze. Also, the monthly balance is... The deficit is decreasing. That's nice. May 1936. We're getting close to the start of a particular war. And what am I doing for Intel now? I turned it all off because I didn't want to... Ins uh, yeah, I probably do want to leave it off. Oh, Gibraltar. Will you ever stop complaining? Um, da, 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 da. Well, nothing really happened there. I guess we'll just keep going. Tripton has finished her reconstruction. Setbacks. Improved optics quality. Let's actually go over to our um, research, though. I know that... We, we could put this back on high, shipboard aircraft operations. I, I guess it's a good idea, but I, f I also kind of feel like we've gotten a lot of the improvement we want out of this. Unless there's still opportunity to lower the risk of landing accidents a bit more, and there probably is, and that is pretty important. Yeah, but we, we did revise this quite a lot, so... I mean, we really flip things on their head. This is not what it, things look like when I, you know, I mean, it just depends on the game, right? We're, we got the guns we want, so we don't need naval guns anymore. Um, torpedoes are, you know, it's always nice to have better torpedoes, but does this also, I guess, actually, let's put this up to high because I think we benefit, does the, the air launch torpedoes would benefit from this too, right? In which case, I actually really want those. Yeah, we still have superimposed quadruple demands. <laughs> Above water, okay. We don't have superimposed guns, um, superimposed B guns on light cruisers yet, so I guess we do need this on, on medium. That's probably the next tech coming up. Yeah, I don't know. I, I look, things look pretty good there. Oh, Russia. Hmm. I, I can handle that. They're creeping up pretty quickly, these tensions. Oh, nope. Oh, I'm dropping back down. What was my submarine situation? We do have some pretty good reliability submarines. Yeah, 47. It really is that number where it's just not enough to really do anything, but it's enough to be a pretty penny on the budget bottom line. The French, really? It's just bizarre to me. I mean, I think we can take them. Oh. Wait, what the heck? Oh, okay, yeah. But although we kind of don't want to attack them for another 8, 20 months? Oh, the Radetzky. I want her. Come, please, finish. They did not bother to estimate when my Trager Drakens will be done. 1938. Yeah, we got a long time left on these. Okay, let's just do this. Eh, whatever. Okay, the Socialist Party is doing well in opinion polls. Didn't a demo, a, sorry, a liberal government already take place? You might want to press for reduced armature expenditure after the upcoming elections. What do you do? We'll talk about the importance of a strong navy. <laughs> do nothing. It is a political matter, after all. All right, good. We got these new ones to evaluate. Um... Don't look a whole lot faster. They are longer ranged. 
This top one looks better. Although, look at those numbers, 296 versus 178. It uh, doesn't really matter though, right? And reliability was one of the two things. I think we did speed and reliability, did we not? So I, I like this. I mean, and the range did go up from 160 to 221 is pretty significant. I wonder why this range was so sp sparsely, I mean, it was so, sorry, not sparsely, it was so compact, like the numbers were so close together. Here we have almost the same number for the heavy range, but hmm, like almost 50% as much, um, sorry, more on the light range. Yeah, so we'll, we'll take this one. Just wanna make sure I don't click on the wrong one like I did that one time. I make sure I read both lines. Man, the Balkans are really, I mean, we're in the Balkans, so it's not too surprising, but no. Oh my gosh, we'd lose everything. No. The Ratetsky. I can't. I can't. Can I? Yeah, no, no, no. Almost nobody's building big ships right now. Oh, brother. All right, here we go. Yeah. France and Russia? I think we could do that. We'd have to stick to the Mediterranean, except for our carriers, but they aren't done yet, so. Hmm. Okay. This is tensions of 10, man. I, I kind of have a feeling like it might be time to start unmothballing. Eh, whatever. Oh man, this is these are just going crazy here. This is with Italy. We're gonna end up in another four-way war. Ay yeah yeah. There's been an internal upheaval in the Falcon Islands. Italy is apparently sending force there or some to restore order, but it's likely they have far more reaching plan more far reaching plans. I think this is of no concern to us. Let them have it. I want to go to war with Italy. I do. But I do not want the fight. Ah, you know what? I don't care. We'll, we'll do it. We'll go to war. Cool. Oh, yeah, we're definitely at war. Um, no. Okay, so first of all, yeah, well, the budget looks nice at least. Mobilize everything. Now I need to go to, wow, budget does not look nice. What is your problem? Oh yeah, right, of course, you don't have, that's fine, we'll move you, these guys over to the, you won't fit, I know, but let me, can you let me go in there and, yeah, perfect. So this is authorized is the middle one. Did it automatically reduce them? Let me see, we have 60, what the heck? I, I can't, I gotta just count it here, I guess. Okay, yeah, we, so we need to cut this one down to 12. Is that, is that right? Which should be perfect because she has 11 already. Huh, great. We're basically at full strength now for the Furikton, fantastic. Okay, so that solved that one nice and quick. And fighting Italy is really, I mean, this is, we're fighting for the Mediterranean. Yeah. How do we want to deal with this? I don't think, I think we just keep all of our vessels. We're, we're just going to let the minesweepers and stuff play in Northern Europe. And we'll focus all efforts I think it's only fair to say it's necessary in the Mediterranean. And we're definitely not going to get our other ships involved in time, but that's fine. Oh, oh, I knew there was something I was missing. So minesweepers, we do want to leave some of these minesweepers on active fleet. No, it shouldn't matter. I think the minesweeping itself is 
uh, happens even on trade protection. We'll leave some of the ASW, but everyone else can go to trade protection. And that should stop any, um, any attempts by the Italians to use their submarines. It's quite a lot. Good, so we have some minesweepers active just for fun. And then we have uh, 13 Corvettes active to prevent torpedoes. If that's not enough, I will activate more, but they only asked me to have 20 for trade protection. So having 13 plus four plus all my destroyers on essentially active fleet trade protection. I mean, torpedo defense, <laughs> let's just put it that way. Yeah, and I believe we like sizably outnumber the Italians. So it's three to three, but we have much better battleships. It's one to one, but we have a better carrier. Well, not really, it's a real, <laughs> yeah. Might be, let's just say even. Um, equal heavy cruisers, but I'm sure ours are way better, and that seems to be indicated by the tonnages, big tonnage difference. 30% larger for us. Yeah, we have more light cruisers, and we have way more destroyers, tons of, like, over 10 times more Corvettes, and they don't really have any submarine fleet to speak of. They do, however, unfortunately for me, have a lot of naval aircraft. Crap. That is a lot. In fact, we're like farther behind than anybody in naval aircraft now. Battleship engagement. Oh, what? Italy it declined? Whoa, I thought we were getting into that. I thought for sure that was... Okay, I don't want to raid there, no. No, I refuse. <laughs> yes, we'll accept. Aha, good. And we'll accept that as well. Okay, here they come. Yeah, just, I mean, there's no Italian, oh, there, oh, man, this is an interesting one, and it's uh, a light one. However, I see it's already at 42 minutes, so we're going to have to, oh, it's the Fjurkton, basically, the Fjurkton plus the Pola, plus Pola airfield. I'm glad that, uh, we probably could have expanded these air bases, I'm not sure what the limit is on those land bases, I'll have to check as soon as this battle's over with, if I, I mean, if I remember. Um, but yeah, we'll do this one in the next in the next video because we're already at we're already at the limit. So until the next one, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.